became a career firefighter with the Howard County Department of Fire and Rescue Service, the chief of the medical division or EMS, the unofficial historian of the Howard County Department of Fire and Rescue Service, over 65,000 digital images and newspaper articles, magazine articles, etc. Episode 24-45, What Were the Chances? Back in 1989, in less than 24 hours, I responded to two steamroller rollovers in Howard County. I had never responded to one before nor after that 24-hour period. Later on, you'll be seeing three separate videos about this incident. The first occurred on the afternoon of August 31st, 1989, near Ellicott City on Old St. John's Lane. The operator of the steamroller had gotten too close to the edge and rolled over onto its side. Fortunately for the operator, the back seat of the chair that he was sitting in dug into the ground and stopped him from being crushed to death, actually mere inches from him being crushed. In the video that you will eventually see during this incident, while the extrication was continuing, a GO team from shock trauma consisting of a physician and nurse uh, had responded by helicopter to the scene to be utilized if needed to do any sort of significant surgical intervention to include amputation of, of the leg or whatever may needed to be amputated. Fortunately, none of that was needed, and I'm sure that made the operator of the steamroller rather happy. The second incident happened less than 24 hours later on September 1st, 1989, on Route 144 at Buttercup Court in the West Friendship area of Howard County. Same scenario, the operator got too close to the edge of the road and the steamroller rolled over onto its side. What saved the life of the operator on this one was nothing less than amazing. The area where the operator was trapped underneath the steamroller was extremely marshy. He was literally pressed into the ground into the mud about 18 inches. Later on in one of the videos you'll be able to see the impression of his body that was left in the mud where he was pushed into the mud. Had it been a regular ground he would have been crushed to death right then and there. When that incident happened, quick thinking State Roads employees quickly used a heavy chain and a dump truck to rotate the steamroller off the patient by six inches or so where the able to drag the patient, the operator, out from underneath the, the steamroller. Howard County Fire and Rescue personnel arrived on the scene, began to stabilize the patient. In the meantime, they had already called for a Maryland State Police helicopter to respond. Amazingly, at least I think so, that that the crews were stabilizing the patient at the same time the helicopter was landing. As soon as they finished stabilizing the patient, they immediately carried the patient across 144 to the landing site, placed the patient in the helicopter, and the helicopter was gone. I mean, it took like less than 10 minutes, less than 15 minutes, probably closer to 10 minutes from the time the patient was removed from underneath the steamroller to be stabilized, carried across the street, put in a helicopter, and off he went. I mean, that's that sort of class how a rapid response and rapid transport of a patient, trauma patient, uh, should work. So definitely less than the 60 minute golden hour time frame that we all strive for back in the day. The last video will be of a newscast report about the two incidents and just the highlighting of the, what had happened, a couple witnesses, etc. that were there. So rather amazing. As I said, who would have thought that in the span of less than 24 hours, I would have responded to two steamroller rollover accidents. And as I said before, I'd never experienced one before and I had never experienced one since then. Ryan, let me have your arm again, babe. All right, just relax. Let it relax right there. Hold. Hold quickly. Hold up the okay. thing, Ronnie. Here, relax your arm. Create more pressure up the front here. Okay. You got some time on the line yet? Hey, uh, you got Here. Right here. You got any, uh, Keep talking to me. That's all right. You're going to feel sick, all right? Relax. You're going to feel sick. They're working on it, all right? Yeah. Just for a... Come here. 
Shut it off. Get him out. If you get up there, that's all we need. Oh, yeah, but I don't want to. One arm? How much is this thing? Just cut it off. Go right up. Yeah, that's it. One you can come and eat you? Yeah. We'll put a bag on the bottom. All right, cut it off.
Beyond the fire equipment. Come on, let's move back. Sir?
Chester County. The exact same thing happened at another site the day before. Andy Field takes a look at why it's suddenly so dangerous out there. This is not a dangerous job. At least it's not supposed to be. But in the past 24 hours, two of these highway rollers flipped and crushed two men at two different sites. This accident injured one driver just before noon today. We run back to see if he and uh, we tried to get him out. Was, was, he, uh, was he talking? Was he seem like he was okay? No, he wasn't talking. Yeah, I don't think he was even breathing when he first went there, but took the pressure off him and he started breathing. 41-year-old Wayne Culler of Frederick spilled his machine into the ditch along Route 144 near the Howard County Fairgrounds. This crew had repaved nearly 10 miles of road without a problem until today. But that wasn't all. The exact same roller in the ditch happened the day before across the county here in Ellicott City. Mark Birch tried to rescue that man. I said, hey, is there anybody yeah, underneath there? Good. He goes, yeah, get me out of here. Well, look underneath there. He's laying underneath their pin. The seat on this roller was the only thing that prevented the man from being crushed to death. It gave him enough room so his co-workers could help pull him out. This wasn't the first time it happened. No, they, one of the guys on the crew told me that it just happened a couple weeks ago on the same crew. Someone not doing their job right here? No, I'm sure this is just freak circumstances that have occurred. But in the history, we really never had two back-to-back -back incidents like this. Well, it's just one of them things, you know. I guess it's actually can happen anywhere. But it's not supposed to. State investigators are trying to find out how to keep these rollers from crushing anyone again. Andy Field, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. The man injured in today's accident is still in critical condition. The other steamroller driver, Ron Bostick, is listed in serious but stable condition at shock trauma and in a separate accident in Anne Arundel County today. State highway worker Daniel McDonald was killed by a pickup truck. He was struck while working in the median strip on eastbound Route 100 near Ritchie Highway. We have a follow-up tonight on the ruptured... Please use your remaining heartbeats wisely and not waste a single precious one.